because we're going to do another one just to show you guys. Got back to the shop last night way way too late so instead of like, unloading took the RXA home and left the truck here with the trailer so we're about to unload and see how the cars run after this crazy event but well, he's gonna show you guys since some people still don't believe in these rotary engines i might like, yeah and we gotta drain the red bull we got the red bull and the and the mountain dudes out of the radio the first thing has to come out because we don't want that shit to get in there and get messed up what you said you didn't come All right, we're gonna start unloading everything. So, bust the truck out. Now that the burnout competition's over, we haven't really tested it on the street, so we're gonna go do some pulls on the street. This thing feels ridiculously fast. So, mine hasn't felt it yet, but I felt it, and this thing definitely makes a lot, a lot more than before. suspension on it it's still a cut springs I think, I think I can smoke the drag car with this thing honestly it is scary <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the shop and uh, drain the antifreeze on it we'll, we'll drain the Mountain Dew Red Bull all the stuff that this dude over here put in it A cop. <laughs> I bet he still does it. 
Yo, what happened? Yo, it never fails. What happened? It never fails. That corner always has a cop hiding in it. Yo. Good thing we stopped because uh, we were definitely going to do some hot boy shit. Alright, we're going to try again. Reckless. Yeah, I got the trailer cleaned up, ready to go for next event, and hopefully I can actually like, start working on this thing. I wanted to fix it, but I still haven't been able to because we've just been going too many trips. At least now we haven't had any more uh, axle issues, and we haven't popped any tires, so we're on, on a good step. We're actually getting the trailer to actually work right, but we still have no lights in the truck, so we have to figure that out. So we still have no, no part of the shop. Uh, everyone's kind of just bullshitting us, we have no lighting, so just bear with me. I'm getting there slowly. I was looking for this part forever, and luckily one of my boys actually had it. So he, said it, he sold it to me really cheaply. Uh, it's missing a bunch of parts, so I thought I sourced the parts out. But I finally got a dry sump. So this is a Mosby dry sump. So it's pretty good condition. And what you see is basically all I have. So it's literally just the, the cover with the front pump. I am missing the, the rear pump and most of the stuff. And the only thing that I actually have is one of the gears. I'm missing the, the one that goes on the crank and the spacer. And then I'm missing the keyways for here. So I'm missing the rear pump. I'm missing the rear plate, all the hardware, the tubes. I'm basically I'm missing a lot of shit. But hopefully, now that I have this one part, it kind of basically snowballs and can't getting the whole thing completed. So once I get this, the, all those parts for the dry together, I'm just going to pull the engine out of the car again. Put the dry sump in the car. I mean, put the dry sump together, put in the engine, uh, run the, the plate, run the tank. And basically, now I'll be able to go really, really high RPMs. Basically, like, I think, like, so the, the RPMs I'll be able to go to now, it'll be, like, 1150, 2000 RPMs. Which I, which I couldn't do before with the with the wet sump, so I definitely need to find the rest of the parts to put this together so I can actually start working on it. Another thing I'm gonna have to do with the car is the headers. I usually order parts from uh, my boys at JND uh, Tubing, and since they knew I was doing this car, they wanted to help me out, so they sent me a bunch of cool stuff, which is right here. So this is one of the pieces for it. You can see how light this thing is. Cause it's a uh, three and a half inch titanium. So I'm going, uh, I'm going titanium in this car. Cause I want the noises basically sound really cool. So we're doing titanium from the header back and they also gave me everything to make the header. So up here I have the two inch runners. So I can do all the, basically all the piping for the header. And in the closet, a little cabinet, I have all the piping. So in here, as you can see, I have all the computer stuff here. I haven't, I haven't worked on it yet, but this is what they sent me. So I have a bunch of these bags, which are titanium pie cuts. So they're basically the pre-made pie cuts to make my job a little bit easier. And I have titanium uh, hangers, the reducer. So basically it's, it's all, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's all titanium, so it's really light. You can see, there's tons and tons of these bags, so I have like six of these three and a half inch bags of uh, pie cuts that are basically perfectly cut, so I don't have to do all the hard work. And the thing I'm waiting on still is the V-Vans, titanium V-Vans, and titanium uh, muffler for them. So right now, uh, all the titanium stuff for them is like pretty new, so once I get the muffler done, they're gonna send that to me so I can get one of the first like mufflers on this car. So for right now it's gonna be straight pipe. It might be like really loud and annoying, but I might like it, but eventually I'm gonna put a muffler on it. And then down here, you can see you have all the bends. So all the stainless bends to do so a bunch of uh, U-bends, like 590s and then 
I guess these are 120s, all two inch stainless. So I ordered the the flange for the three rudder. Let's wait for that to come in. I can start doing the exhaust. But like I said, I really have to wait on the dry stones. So I can actually get everything situated right because the dry stone will determine the engine height because of the oil pan. It won't be there anymore. It's gonna be a flat plate. And once the engine is actually mounted 100 percent then I can actually get into it and start doing the header and the exhaust work. I almost forgot, but I know the parts are up to the car that I put into the corner and basically forgot to show you guys, but hopefully one of the coolest parts in the car because it will, it will allow me to drive really crazy and maybe finally do backwards entries. So these are from my boy that came from the Super crazy modified. Uh, I don't know why I always said to it, but basically these are what you want to have in the car. I'm not really too familiar with all like the knuckle specs like that, but this is what he ran in his car and his car ripped. So I'm just gonna hold it on my car and hopefully my car drives is good. For now, that's basically all the obvious we can show you guys. Fortunately, the FC, still no good news with it. I'm still waiting on the insurance to basically get back to me. Uh, they did give me a shitty price, they always say we was like going back and forth right now. But hopefully I get this figured out because I actually already have uh, my eyes on another FC already. And it will also help get the FD done. So this is what they say. Cause right now the FC is like all the way like back there in the back and it's just getting messed up with getting rain done. Cause I have to wait on them to let me know what's gonna happen. So for now I'm just gonna get everything ready. And since it, basically since everything is taking so long. I think for a deals gap, I'm just gonna take the RX-8 because I won't have time to build another FC for deals gap. Gotta get the RX-8 basically dialed in 100%.